please share this video with your pastor. Ask him why he has joined his church with the state since prophecy says all that do this are apostate and the people within these churches need to come out of them. Notice the prophecy. Revelation 17.3 says, He carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. In prophecy, a woman is defined as a church. Jeremiah 6.2 says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. And we also understand the Church of Jesus Christ is considered to be the bride in many areas of Scripture that lovingly describe her as such. It is also commonly understood by students of prophecy that our Lord also defines a beast to be a nation or a kingdom in his prophetic word. For the prophet Daniel also declared the following in Daniel 7.17 7, when speaking of the four kingdoms that were going to go forward in time from his day till the end of time, he says that these great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. And then Daniel 7.23 says, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. Now, even in today's world, nations are described as beasts. The two most recognized today would, of course, have to be the USA, which has the bald eagle as its uh, symbol, and Russia, who is likened unto a bear. Daniel was given a vision about all the nations of the earth up till the time of the end. Then I go into great detail about that vision, which was a duplicate of Nebuchadnezzar's dream on my Dream of a King page. In this vision, he saw the last, or fourth beast, as Daniel put it, as a global nation which was to be diverse from all the others. But how different would it be? According to Revelation 17.3, this beast, or as the prophecy illustrates, this final global power will have a woman riding it, a woman on a beast. That means there was to be a political power on earth that is a church and state mixed together that has churches in every nation on earth is part of their political power. Now, as we know, there has only been one nation that fits this prophecy since 538 AD. That is the nation called Vatican City, which as we all know, is also the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, who has churches in every nation on earth. See, this is why Daniel declared it to be different from any other nation after it. And so if you want to know what the other symbols in the prophecy mean, you know, like the scarlet color or the names of blasphemy, the seven heads and ten horns, go to my Characteristics of Antichrist page on the website where I share all of them in detail with historic records to back all of the prophecies up. Now, here is where your apostate pastor comes in. And please share what I'm about to share with you in the most loving manner you could possibly muster. Notice this next prophecy that was to be fulfilled in the last generation on earth at the same time that this fourth beast is in power, global power. See, this is why all political leaders have to meet with the Pope, including American presidents, each time they win office. So if they have two terms, they have to meet the Pope twice. In Revelation 13, 11, it says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Now, I do not want this blog entry or even the video that I plan to make for it to be way too long, but all students of prophecy already know that the first beast is in fact the Vatican, and the second beast is in fact the United States of America. But if you have not studied this up, and need all the Bible verses that match with the historic records that define why this beast comes out of the earth, why it has two horns like a lamb, and how it actually speaks as a dragon, see my USA in Prophecy study when you get time. Now, notice what the prophecy says the USA is going to do so as to lift up the first beast in Rome when the time comes for that fourth beast to enforce its mark upon all people. Now, notice what it says in Revelation 13, verses 15 and 16. It says, He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, that means to legislate law, and cause, that means to enforce it 
And then it goes on to say that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, if you need an in-depth study regarding this mark, as well as many videos about it and all the political actions that brought us to where we are right now in history, which is very close to this mark's enforcement, see my Mark of the Beast page. But suffice it to say, in 1954, Lyndon Johnson set up what many call the Johnson Amendment today, which is also actually called the 501c3 bill. This bill allowed all pastors in the USA to gain major tax exemptions on everything from buying homes, church buildings, and even cars, just to name a few things. But the only way to receive the benefits that the prophecy said these preachers of filthy lucre who make merchandise of their church members clamor after was to literally create an image to the first beast in Rome by copying the Vatican's church and state structure so as to have the exact same power that the popes had during the Inquisition. On December 2nd, 2017, President Trump not only signed that Johnson Amendment or 501c3 bill into permanent law, he also granted the pastors the ability to lobby religious laws. And as we all know, every time the mark of the beast is mentioned in prophecy, the word worship is right there with it. That's why I have a page on my website about religious laws are coming. But for more in-depth information on this long prophesied image of the beast that all American pastors completely ignored due to their love of money, see the many videos and the in-depth study I have on my image of the beast page. And so, ask your pastor this, and again, do this in as loving a manner as you can muster. Why, pastor, did you join your church with the state to create an image of the Catholic church, where it's a church and state at the same time? Because when you get a 501c3, you have to join your church with the state to get it. It's called incorporation. Why did you put your love of money over and above the love of the Lord and your church family in the exact same way prophecy said the disobedient pastors were going to do? Sadly, brothers and sisters, your pastor is not going to be able to answer that question. I have been asking these pastors this for years. Never once have I gotten an answer. Not one time. And so... It is now up to you to be the long prophesied child of God who by your own actions literally fulfill a prophecy that speaks of the obedient Christian people that follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth to come out of the apostate churches. Because it is clearly written in Revelation 18 verses 4 and 5 that you must come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities. Thank you for watching. God bless.